Good morning guys. This is my second video and I decided to do it on um, running specifically because I was very inspired by my wife and her uh, five other friends who just finished a 200 mile relay yesterday. Uh, it was amazing. They started out uh, Friday morning at 6.30 and they didn't get in until around 2 o'clock on Saturday almost uh what is that 32 hours of running straight they didn't sleep or anything all they did was focus on the running well I'm not about to do anything close to that but I have been over my last 90 day challenge and for the beginning of this one been out jogging around my neighborhood uh, about a 5k three miles or so and I'm doing this three to four times a week and so I thought I'd give you a couple of tips and take you on part of my run this morning um, by no means am I an expert on this but I have learned a few things and if this is something that interests you you might want to think about um, following with uh, the barefoot running style um, first off if you decide to do barefoot running always start out slow uh, even if you are an avid runner and you run 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 you do marathons or what have you if you don't if you're not used to barefoot running don't just jump right into it uh, take it slow maybe a quarter mile maybe just down the street just to get used to uh, your bare feet hitting the ground whether it's the grass or the concrete or what have you uh, number two you need to understand how your feet are supposed to strike the ground the part of your foot that should strike while running is the ball of your foot along the edge of your foot but never should uh, any kind of striking be going on in the center or even the heel these are the parts that you want to protect strikes on the heel will shoot pain straight up your leg and you should use your toes and spread them out as you're running and it creates a, a form of balance and stabilization while running so these are just some quick tips to to understand as you are running barefoot running is great for the body because once you get the techniques down you avoid many of the common injuries uh, associated to running I would always have knee issues they would feel like they were gonna buckle I would also experience uh, shin splints and I could never run longer than about a quarter mile or so without having to walk a block and then pick up my running pace again but since I've started barefoot running and I've learned the technique I've been able to run longer and stronger than I've ever run in my life uh, these 5k's are almost nothing when I'm running them around the neighborhood granted I'm not sprinting them out or anything like that and I wouldn't suggest trying to barefoot run at a really fast pace until you really get used to the technique but my endurance level has increased greatly by doing this and doing this 90 day challenge just gives me a reason to push and continue on doing the barefoot running because frankly I hate running I've never liked it between the injuries between it gets very boring but now I've got a goal and I'm actually starting to enjoy it when I'm realizing I'm not hurting after I'm done with it so I'm about to take you on part of my uh, jog this morning and like I said it can get long and boring so uh, you gotta choose the right music and I, I like to run to party music basically so uh, and house music so this whole run might be a little party rocking for myself so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Check it out now, the funk soul brother. Right about now, the funk soul brother. Right about now. About now. About now. About now.
I just took you on a little portion of my three mile trail. And I had fun, how about you? Anyway, let me show you the bottom of my soles even after running out on the pavement and the black top and in the grass. My feet are still looking pretty decent. See the bottoms of the feet, they're not torn all up. A little dirty but that's about it and they're actually not that leathery either fairly soft it's a matter of technique not stomping so hard on your feet as you're moving you gotta glide with this one so that's all I've got for you right now except for one last thing I'm 11 days in to this 90 day challenge and I have lost seven pounds already. Man, this is fun. You guys should be out here with me. The weight will drop off of you too. <laughs>